their live feeds and to vacate um, the premises. Um, from that point onwards, all media and onlookers were uh, driven far out of the, uh, the, the proximity to, to the events unfolding um, and behind a large police cordon. The immediate swooping in of police forces as tactical operations units and the like was absolutely astounding. It was clear that they had planned, precisely planned, every eventuality in a crisis like this and they acted very quickly. They were heavily armed, um, police officers swooping around the premises and evacuating people from above the cafe, around the cafe, people in, in nearby um, buildings um, in the business district were also asked to remove themselves from, uh, from that location. Um, and things have quietened down, or they did until about 4pm in the afternoon when five hostages fled the premises and we've since learned that they managed to escape. And then later on uh, this evening, we have learned the identity of the man who is believed to be behind um, what's happening at the moment. His name is Manharon Mones. Um, he is described by authorities as a self-styled uh, sheikh who has uh, is Islamist leanings and who has been convicted for sending offensive letters to the families of deceased Australian servicemen. Um, I'm now hearing extremely, extremely loud explosions. Yes, indeed, Mr. Lord. We can see live pictures here from Martin Place. Uh, we can see some uh, heavily armed policemen and flashes of gunfire. It does appear, although these are unconfirmed reports, that police are uh, making an attempt to uh, shoot fire into the Lent Cafe potentially resolve this situation. We can see another woman there cradled in a policeman's arms being run from the scene and we can also see police motioning to the media to uh, to relocate, to move down. It's, a, it's an incredibly fluid and, uh, and dangerous situation there in Martin Place. Tonight we have seen uh, the Lint Cafe blacken, the lights blacken and the police standing out there for a number of hours and then uh, just, just about 15 minutes ago we saw around four hostages run from the Lint Cafe, another one a short time ago and then we have just seen gunfire from these heavily armed police. You can see another woman coming from the Lint Cafe, incredibly dramatic scenes here in the heart of Sydney CBD. Our reporter Nick Dole is in Martin Place, is in the, uh, the heart of Sydney CBD, just near Martin Place. Nick, what have you heard, what have you seen tonight? Joe, just in the last 90 seconds or so, the scene has shifted dramatically. There has been uh, an extreme flurry of what sounds like it might be gunfire or some other sort of explosive device. I'm uh, looking at the Lint Cafe now. I'm looking through. Uh, you're probably looking at the live shot that I'm seeing right now. And some officers appear to be entering the building. Yeah, Nick, it appears uh, that they're being motioned ago, into the Lind Cafe now. It appears that these heavily armed police are now entering the building. Yep. They're running in. We've just seen an officer run inside. There was a huge flurry of, uh, yeah, as I say, what sounded like gunfire and a lot of screaming. There was also a number of flashes of light. And uh, I'm just looking at some ambulance officers who are just near me, and they've obviously been called uh, to the scene. They've raced into the ambulance and now now heading uh, down towards Martin Place, uh, assuming that there may be injuries because this was a very sudden development. We saw uh, probably in the last five minutes or so, uh, there was some yelling and five more hostages made their way out onto the western side of the Lint building. Um, and, and shortly after, police really escalated things uh, and they, they've obviously launched some sort of an operation to try to bring this thing to an end. There's more banging now. Yeah, we're seeing more flashes of gunfire here, Nick. Yeah, we're, look, we're not, ex we're not sure exactly whether that's some sort of a stun device or whether they are indeed uh, gunshots that we can hear, but uh, the situation is very panicked. Uh, police are racing around with, with uh, weapons. Uh, drawn, and we've seen some coming in and some leaving the Link Cafe. Uh, no further sign from where I'm standing 
of, uh, of any further hostages. Uh, by my count, we've seen about 10 leave safely. Uh, that's only a, a fairly uh, basic count, but the five already uh, that we saw earlier in the afternoon and then the five that left in the last 10 minutes or so. Uh, but we haven't seen from this end, from the western side of the Lint Cafe, we haven't seen any further hostages leave. Certainly something very serious has gone on inside. Whether or not that was at the police's instigation or something else, uh, we're not sure, but uh, police are converging on this scene rapidly and ambulance officers are being sprung to action too. Indeed, we can see ambulance uh, vehicles racing from the scene there in Martin Place. Uh, they've of course been on standby all day for uh, any developments in this story. We can see a woman there from these live pictures from Martin Place being carried out by officers. She appears to be very distressed. We've had uh, ambulance running from this, racing from the scene with what I can imagine is the other hostages that we saw released earlier, uh, earlier this evening. Uh, we can also see a continued strong police presence. They've, of course, been um, there the whole day and into tonight, standing by for something like this. We in the media and, and, the, and the general public have not been let in on the um, operational details surrounding what police had planned or, um, or any other details surrounding this incident. So um, 